In this question, we have a five kilogram block that will slide down a surface that has no friction. It'll collide with the 10 kilogram box here. And of course, it's going to bounce back this way up, probably not quite as far as it was initially, and then cause this one to move off to the right. Our job first is to find out how fast this box is going before it collides with the 10 kilogram box. And then, of course, find out how fast this goes backwards. Now, it does involve a system of equations, so in a question like this, we are going to give one of the answers here, just so we don't have a system of equations. When the 10 kilogram box gets hit by the 5 kilogram box, it will go off to the right at 6.00 meters per second. And again, that'll allow us to not have to use the systems of equations for this elastic collision. Okay. Well, we look at this right here. Since it's frictionless, we are going to have a gravitational potential energy conversion into kinetic energy. So we start off with mgh, then equaling 1 half mg squared. So I'm just going to go like this. I'll say m times 9.8 times 5 equals 1 half mg squared. I know masses are going to cross off when I do this, so that's why I didn't bother putting mass in. So the velocity of the 5 kilogram block just before it hits the 10 kilogram block will be 9.9 .9 meters per second. Now our job is to figure out once the collision occurs, how fast okay, will the 5 kilogram block be going backwards? And then we can figure out how high it goes. So we are going to use an inelastic collision, M1V1 plus M2V2 equals M1VA plus M2VB. A reminder that the A and B means those are velocities of the blocks after the collision, and you know we have to plug numbers in and solve for one. Okay, starting off, I'm not going to use um, significant digits here. I'll just use one significant digit. So I'm going to say 5 times 9.9 .9 plus 10 times 0 before the collision. This box is not moving, and the 9.9 .9 is what we solved for above right there. We'll set that equal to, afterwards, we do not know how fast the 5 kilogram block is moving, so we'll say 5 times the A plus 10 times 6. 6 is the given in the question. Uh, that was actually previously solved for by a system of equations, but again, you will not need to do that for this question. It's done for you. Our job is then to simply define VA. In this case, VA turns out to be a negative 2.1 meters per second. So that means after the collision, the 5 kilogram box is now going backwards and will now go up some of this incline. Not quite all the way because it's given some of its momentum over to the 10 kilogram box. So now we just have a kinetic energy conversion back to gravitational potential energy. So I'm going to do one half mass times my negative 2.1 squared equals m times 9.8 times h. And one more time, my mass is cross off. I don't need to have those, so I need them to just find my height. And the height is 0.23 meters. So it's going to go back only about this much here, 0.23 meters up the uh, surface. 